Hey guys, thanks for taking the time. Hi. Hi, Brittany. So I want to start at the beginning with you guys, because when I get into a show that's based on a book, the first thing I do is read the book. But not only is this a book, it's a long book. Did you guys have any familiarity with it before you started filming? Did you go back and read it? I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, you go first. <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I'm just boasting because I don't think I've ever read a book that big. But I did I did read it and... Um, uh, it's quite it's quite I always feel very like I always feel guilty for not reading as much as I should read and so when when you have an excuse and almost you know feel like you should or you have to read something I, you know I, I'm always good under un, with a bit of some you know a bit of instruction or, or pressure so um, I uh, I did read it and I in, in, enjoy, enjoyed it very much so I I came onto the show a lot later than everybody and so I didn't get to read it <laughs> and when I started they told me to not because basically the first it was our storyline was only you know a few like a hundred pages of the actual giant novel so they were like save your brain space yes I once got detained at an airport for reading too much I'll tell you that <laughs> <laughs> did tell me that I did Go on, tell us more about that then. I, I got detained at Heathrow Airport for a secondary security search because they didn't like that I was flying home with a suitcase full of books in it. Apparently it looked like something else. I don't. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. That's amazing. Well, did you get home okay with all your books? I did, but it's funny. It's the only time I've ever been considered a terrorism suspect, so. Oh, wow. The, the <laughs> first time. The first time. Not necessarily the only. <laughs> There's still time. A knowledge, a knowledge terrorist. <laughs> which, which in a weird way leads me to something else I wanted to ask you guys. Because I think a lot of people watching this show, it's a time period they're not going to know a lot about. Like, did you guys learn anything, uh, you know, through the experience of filming that you didn't know before? Whether it was about this part of history or just a different way of doing things. What did you guys take away from working on the show? I learned a lot about mid-century, mid-17th century Paris, would you like to hear about it? I <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> find it very boring. I learned, I, I, learned a lot of the, hmm, I learned a lot of the stuff. Uh, I feel lucky because a lot of the stuff that the show takes place around and the relations between the settlers and the indigenous people, I got to learn in high school on my on my school on the reserve. Um, and so I kind of didn't go in completely blind. And um, if, so for me, being on the show was sort of like a chance to get deeper into uh, my own history. And you guys were out there in the trenches too. I mean, you're really out in nature filming. So that must have been a fun experience depending on the weather. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it definitely was, weather depending. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. When we started the shoot, we were um, we were in in summer, and uh, it was it was so hot. The temperatures were were so high, and um, so it was very it was really it was sort of really difficult. And then and then by the time we finished, which was in sort of mid November, it was freezing. So we 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 kind of had both ends of the spectrum, um, and uh, and so yeah, we we really sort of got. Yeah, got got it. Got, got both experiences. So I don't want to give too much away, but I want to make sure I highlight the stuff that you guys really loved. Is there you know a particular episode or a particular moment that you guys are like, we really enjoyed doing this, and we want to make sure people don't miss it? I'm kind of a nerd, and really just really like my subtle kind of one-on-one. -on -one um, scenes with Christian and with David Thewlis. I love, I just, yeah, I'm kind of just like a nerd for those really, I don't know, maybe audience would think it's boring, but I love those really subtle scenes. Like no action or anything, just two humans interacting. Yeah. Yeah. I would, I would agree with that. Um, I think, I think it's, I think the sort of like, uh, the scale of the show is pretty is pretty awesome. Uh, that seems like the right word to use. It it, it, it is. It's it's like it's it's kind of 
you know, I was certainly in awe of the environment. And I think that does come across in, in the show is, is the sort of scale and the vastness of the environment. Um, and that was something that we felt, you know, when we were shooting it, that, you know, we were in this sort of uh, in, incredible, incredibly uh, sort of overwhelming uh, place in terms of the, you know, being surrounded by this, this vast amount of nature. So I think, um, I think that, I think that is something that the audiences will enjoy, will enjoy experiencing. Yeah, James, what about you? What sticks out to you? What, what was the original question? I've lost track. I'm curious about like what your favorite moments or aspects from filming were. What stood out to you? Um, well, really, really just the everyone's work, everyone's effort, everyone's skill. Like the 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 the, the people that that we worked with, like the the actors, the um. Isabel, who built the sets from scratch, you know, she built in, she built an entire um, French settlement, French village from 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 nothing, um, you know, an entire Wendat village from authentic plans and designs. Um, uh, you know, everyone, Rajan, who made who made these incredible wigs for us that felt and behaved like, you know, like the kind of hair that you would have if you if you were um, you know, put on a boat for eight weeks, and um, Anna, who created these costumes that were made from authentic fabrics, and um, you know, and and being being there, being on the very on the very soil that that those people um, trod, that that was just extraordinary. I mean, that was just a wild, wild privilege because, you know. All you're trying to do, I think, or what we were trying to do, really, is just try to put ourselves in in that situation. Really, not judge these people, but 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 really just try to put ourselves in that situation, knowing what we knew um, and uh, and being where we were, and 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 trying to trying to experience it, trying to trying to live live through it, and hopefully hopefully the audience can connect with that. You know, and one thing I've always wondered about with things that are this epic is there's so much going on and so many people in the cast. How do you guys as actors prep for something like this? Are you able to keep up with what's going on through the entire story? Or do you guys just have to say, this is the one thing that I'm doing and I have to focus on on my part of it? Well, we have read throughs before we shoot everything. So we do get a chance to, you know, sit and listen to the other characters interact but my character for one never really got to go anywhere other than the middle of the woods so um that was like a really special time for me when i got to hear you know and see the other actors and stuff but also the three of us and david would get together and we would get to we would rehearse when we could and go over our lines and our work for the coming weeks don't don't turn into me. I'm that person who watches every TV show and has like a beautiful mind style notes of stuff. And everyone's like, you're a psycho and you need to get a hobby. And I'm like, but this is my hobby. It's what I do. <laughs> That's great. Why not? Sounds like yeah. a good hobby. Yeah. So the last thing I wanted to do is just get your guys, you know, is there anything else I'm not thinking of that you guys wanted to throw in here or anything else important that you think people should know? Fading. <laughs> You're not required to have an answer. I just like to ask. Okay. Not, nothing that I can think of that sort of desperate to to share that we haven't. I don't think. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for letting me pick your brain for a couple of minutes. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.